Hi friends, I'm Erica from Apple and Tree and I'm here today to show you my fall candle collection for 2020. I have a lot of fall candles so um, I've got them in a few different places here and I'll just bring them through and show them to you. We'll see if you have any of these same fall candles in your collection. If, you, if you're interested in buying candles, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because my next video is going to be about the fall candles that I'm going to list on Mercari to sell. I just have so many and I don't need them all. There's no way I'll burn all of these before I want to start burning Christmas candles. So let's get started. Okay, first up is White Pumpkin. So I have last year's White Pumpkin from Bath, Bath & Body Works and I have a label, a current label from this year's White Pumpkin. I like both of them, but I really like this one. It's really pretty. Um, the notes on White Pumpkin are White Pumpkin, Autumn Spice Blend, Ground Cinnamon. And it's really good. It's a really nice, lighter pumpkin than some of the other ones. It's not so thick. So this is always one of my favorites. Such a good one. Okay, next I have Pumpkin Spice from the Disney Store. I pretty much buy these kind of candles for the adorable um, vessel that it comes in. It's got all these like Disney Halloween treats and this pumpkin is kind of raised and that pumpkin is kind of raised and it's just so cute. Um, I bought a Christmas candle last year that um, came in this size vessel with, with a cute little Mickey on it and it was a Christmas tree scent and it was so yummy. I'll probably show you that one in a second but it's a white wax it smells pretty light it almost it says pumpkin spice but to me it almost smells like a pumpkin waffle cone on cold and they don't give you any notes so um we'll burn this one pretty much just for looks and if it happens to have any throw um that'll just be a bonus let me grab my uh, mickey christmas one to show you so here's the christmas one um, it was in the scent fresh cut pine and I even cleaned it out so that I could reuse this um, You know, I could put other smaller candles in there or I could put use it as a cup holder or even like a toothbrush holder or something like that So I think this was the same price $19.99 um, Which is I think I think worth it because it's so cute and you get a little keepsake if you want it and that cute little Mickey's um, Main Street Tree Farm logo is cute. Okay, but this is about fall. So next I have Vanilla Birch, which is nice. This one came with the uh, marble lid and the notes on Vanilla Birch are white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood. This is good. Not one of my absolute favorites, so this might be one that I sell. Okay, next up, this is by Harry Slatkin. It's a Homeworks candle. The scent is Harvest Leaves, which is a great scent. Really, really nice and cozy. Spice Pumpkin, Mandarin Cranberry, and Apple Puree. I really like when pumpkin is mixed with cranberry and apple. I feel like that gives it a really fresh um, fruity scent and not so heavy and thick like some pumpkin candles can be. And this little candle holder, I mean, this is supposed to come out, but I don't know, I'd have to force it, I guess. But that could be reused in time. Um, and that is Harvest Leaves. Next up, Marshmallow Fireside. I believe I have a couple of these. This is good, it's very nice. I might be over the Marshmallow Fireside, so that might be one that I sell. Made with notes of toasted vanilla and cedar wood essential oil. Next, we've got a Goose Creek Pumpkin Cupcake by Goose Creek. The notes are, they don't give you notes. It's just pumpkin cupcake. It smells good, it smells like a pumpkin cupcake or like a pumpkin bread, so. Um, I bought a, like a haul of Goose Creek last year, but I really didn't burn a ton of them. So, um, I think they burn well, but not really the best ever. 
I've got blueberry pie from Bath and Body Works. This is a good one. This is really nice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like edible. It smells so blueberry, blueberry-ish. It smells delicious. Juicy blueberries, flaky crisps, and sugar crystals. This is great. I should break this back out maybe for the kitchen, like on the stove. Like after you've made dinner and you want the kitchen, you clean the kitchen and you want it to smell all cozy and good again, that would be a nice one. Okay, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. This is from last year or the year before. This is always a good one. Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and drizzled caramel. That's a good one. Um, I feel like I might have a couple of these though, so maybe I would sell that, even though it's pretty readily available in Bath and Body Works. Oh yeah, here's my other one. Oh yeah. Um, I think this was last year's label, or one of these was last year's and one was the year before, or maybe they're both last year. I can't remember. They both have like, that one has a pumpkin-y lid and that one has like, well, different kind of pumpkin lids. So, um, I don't know if those would sell on Mercari since they're pretty easy, easy to get in the store. Um, Goose Creek, another one, warm pumpkin cookie. Whoa, this one has an almond note in it that is different from the other Goose Creek one. Remember this pumpkin cupcake I said was kind of like pumpkin bread and this pumpkin cookie really has an almond note added, which I, that's not my favorite. I think I'll sell that one for sure. It's good if you like almond, you would like it, but I do not like almond. Okay, Cranberry Woods, this is a great one. This is a really great one. Mixture of like wood notes and cranberry is just about perfect for me. Cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest, cedar, and golden amber. It's good. I don't really get the amber, which is which is nice because I don't really like amber. It's a little too like earthy or musky for me. Okay, next is something that you probably haven't seen before, copper and basil, and it's a autumn lake lodge scent. It smells really good. Ooh, that smells good. Like it smells like a mixture of cologne and like pine cones and woodsy scents. There's no notes on this. Um, I think I got this as a gift, but that will be fun to burn. Okay. This is something barn board I bought a while ago um, with country candle and Kringle candle. They're the same company really. Um, you, I mean, there's only one Kringle candle store that I know of and it's like out east. And so if you're ordering online, you don't always get to smell, th I mean, you don't get to smell things before. <laughs> it's funny, this says barn board and that's exactly what this smells like it is wood from like an old barn. Like it smells like campfire wood, which is really good it doesn't have the smokiness, it just smells like the wood. Like if you're setting up a campfire, the smell of the wood before it starts burning, but it's just not a scent for me, but I think a lot of people would like it. So that's probably one I'll sell on Mercari. It's so heavy though. Um, I'll have to weigh it and see how much the shipping is. That's the problem with selling candles is that they're not light. Okay, pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works. This is a classic, really yummy. Pumpkin and apple together, like I said, is so good. And I liked this um, collection where they did the little forest animals on the labels. That was um, probably my favorite. It's just very cute. So I might keep that one because of that. Okay, let me grab the next load over here. Okay, next up is pumpkin parfait apple, or pumpkin apple parfait by Yankee. That smells really good. It's gonna be probably a lighter throw because it's Yankee, but I don't mind a light throw. I like candles for the ambiance and then a little bit of scent. I don't like it to like blow me away or make me feel like nauseous or kind of take over the whole atmosphere of the house. I like a candle to kind of just add to the cozy atmosphere of your house, you know? So pumpkin apple parfait by Yankee. This is like the medium sized jar. And I don't know if they give us the notes on here. No, I don't see them, but 
This is good. Um, there's a little bit of like a caramel kind of scent in there, which I don't always like, but since it's not strong, it probably, I'm guessing, would not be too bad. Okay, I've got pumpkin cupcake in a one wick from Bath and Body Works. I smell a little bit of almond in that too, and I don't like that. Um, let me see what the notes are. Whipped buttercream, vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcakes. So it's probably in that whipped buttercream. I mean, it's not a strong almond, it's very light. Um, this would probably be pretty good. I'm sure it is. I think I've, I think I've burned it before. Okay, the classic leaves from Bath and Body Works, which you're probably familiar with. Crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove. Yeah, that's nice. That's kind of like a fun one to burn when fall first starts, or maybe on like the first cool day that you have in your area. That leaves is so nice. Okay, I have autumn in a one wick with the little fox. On there, the notes are red gala apple, juicy fig, and eucalyptus leaf. Yeah, that smells, that smells nice. I like the one wicks in the Bath and Body Works because you can burn through them pretty quickly, which I like to do because I kind of get candle ADD sometimes and I like to move on to a fresh candle after I've burned one a few times. Um, and then also they, they throw you know, just a little bit to medium amount. They're not like overpowering. Cider Lane. This one, Cider Lane to me smells like a caramel apple, which actually sounds really good right about now. Warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, and ground clove. That's a good one. Okay, next I have two of these. These are from Homeworks, from Harry Slatkin, White Birch, and the notes are White Birch, fir balsam and crisp winter air. These are really good. These kind of smell like what I remember my grandpa um, smelling like, my grandpa on my dad's side. It just kind of smells like a light, woodsy, like men's cologne. It smells really good. So then I have, I think they got, they were sold as a set of two. I need to put these. These would be cute like on a table burning next to each other, wouldn't they? Probably won't sell those. Another pumpkin apple in a different label. Classic, classic, can't beat it. Red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, ground cinnamon and clove buds. I'm saying another pumpkin apple, but I don't even know if, did I show you a pumpkin apple yet? I can't even remember, they're all kind of blending together. Another cranberry woods in the one wick. And a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow in a different label. That's a cute label, I like that. Oh. <laughs> Pink petal tea cake. That's not really a fall candle, but it's not necessarily my favorite either. It's good. It, I might try to sell it because this is popular with a lot of people, so I might get that one up. Another leaves in the one wick and another cider lane in a three wick. Marshmallow fireside in a one wick. Here's one that maybe, I don't know if it's here this year, Ghoul Friend. It's like a strawberry. Oh, it's a, that smells so good, oh my gosh. Ghoul Friend, dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I thought I might sell this because the label's not really my vibe, but it smells so good. I think I might have to keep it for myself and see that that might be enjoyable like in my bathroom. Smells like really yummy. Okay, honey crisp apple. That smells a lot like pumpkin apple. Golden honey crisp apple blossom and fresh sugar cane, or kind of like Macintosh apple, if you're familiar with that. It's just a good classic fall scent. And next I have Yankee candle spiced pumpkin in a medium jar. This one kind of leaked in the um, transit when I ordered these online, but that's probably really nice. Um, like I said, Yankees are a pretty light to medium throw, so they're not overpowering. Okay, I have three left from Pinecone, which I like, but it gave me, no, it didn't give me a migraine. I had a migraine a while ago and this was burning and I had to put it out because it was irritating me and so now every time that I smell it it almost like triggers a migraine 
but there's nothing wrong with this fragrance. It's very nice. It just, for me, I'm just, it just doesn't work for me, but the fragrance notes are Fallen Pine Cones, Red Oak, Fresh, fresh Eucalyptus and Juniper Berry. And so I've burned it that much. That was the first burn. Um, and I had to put it out. And then the other one that I found in my candle closet looks like this, like it's got like one, maybe two burns. Um, and I must have had the same issue with it, I'm guessing, last year. So what do you think? Are these even worth selling if they're slightly burned and they're very heavy? I don't know if anyone would want them. Um, you know, it's gonna be like $10 shipping at least. Would someone want them? Let me know what you think. I could give them to Goodwill. I don't know what to do with them. Okay. Last one is Spiced something. Spiced Vanilla Pumpkin. And looks like I started burning that one too and didn't finish. It's a little caramely, and that may be what turned me off. Yeah, Pumpkin Warm Caramel Vanilla Bean and Blood Orange. But I don't get the orange at all. Um, so that's a little thick for me. Um, well, there we have it, friends. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what's in your fall candle collection. Maybe let me know some of your favorites or if you have any um, in common with me. And if you want to see how my fall mantle is coming along over our fireplace, then hang on and I'll bring you over to our living room and show you that. Okay, here's our fall mantle. Max has been helping me uh, decorate it. I decorate it and then he tells me what he thinks I should tweak. So his uh, most recent idea was that I should add some lights to these um, these things here. And so I bought at, um, at Hobby Lobby these LED lights that you can kind of string around. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. I'll show you guys how that looks when I get that updated. But um, otherwise, it's pretty much done. I have some Luminara candles there that light up and these little pumpkin LED lights that are fun. Everything's on a timer. So it comes on uh, like around 5 p.m. And down here I have uh, some pumpkins. Those are real, that's real and that's real. I got those with my mom this past week. And the rest of it I need to kind of just arrange in its final formation. But I want to do a fall home tour when I have everything ready. So be sure to subscribe so you can see that if you're interested. And keep an eye out for my Mercari selling fall candle video that will be posted in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.